sex linked inheritance the principle is inheritance of linked genes of sex chromosomes x chromosome and y chromosome means the genes located on the x chromosome are called the x linked genes the genes located on the y chromosome are called the y linked genes their inheritance is sex linked inheritance at the beginning of our discussion i am going to discuss about the structure of the x and y chromosomes first in females two x chromosomes are present these two x chromosomes are homo homologous chromosomes because the two x chromosomes are same chromosomes just like the autosomes autosomes and the homologous pair of chromosomes two genes are located in at a particular locus and two genes are involving in determining the character but here in the x chromosome only one x chromosome is active and the x chromosome is becoming inactive means the genes located on the inactive x chromosome are masked are not active those are masked by rna and proteins that is called the x chromosome inactivation for the doses compensation i have discussed clearly about that uh, doses compensation and x chromosome inactivation in drosophila and human beings in another video the, but now i am focusing on the linked genes located on the x chromosome means what are the mutant x linked x linked recessive genes and what are uh, mutant x linked dominant genes what are the diseases caused by them in females only one x chromosome is active means the genes located on this one x chromosome are enough to determine the characters once we will see the structure of the x and y chromosomes the genes located on the x chromosome are specific are different from the genes located on the y chromosome the region of the x chromosome where the x specific genes are located is called differential region the genes which are located on the y chromosome which are specific to the y chromosome those do not found on the x chromosome are called the differential region again means those are different regions the genes located on the y chromosome are specifically belongs to the y chromosome they do not found on the x chromosome different the x chromosome containing genes at this differential region are found on only x chromosome they do not found on the y chromosome that's why these two regions are called the differential regions are different regions some of the genes are located and the x and y chromosomes are same they are located at the same locus those are called the pseudo autosomal regions what are the pseudo autosomal regions we will see on the x chromosome this region the region and another end also this is called par pseudo autosomal region 1 this region is called the pseudo autosomal region 2 and Y chromosome is also containing the same region as PAR1, pseudo autosomal region 1. Means these two regions are containing the genes. Those are same genes, just like the autosomal genes. And their end is also containing the PAR2. These region, these two regions are also same. They are containing the genes which can determine the autosomal characters. Means these pseudo autosomal regions at the two ends. PAR1 and PAR2 are paired genes these two regions are called the homologous regions because these homologous regions are containing the genes just like the autosomes they involve in the determination of character just like the autosomal genes or alleles means during the meiotic division crossing over take place in between these auto pseudo autosomal regions at this regions and at this regions the crossing over is taking place but in the differential region there is no crossing over so this is the structure of x chromosome this is a structure of y chromosome however this is the centromere region on x chromosome this is the centromere region of uh, y chromosome uh, these centromere regions are uh, made up of highly compacted proteins and uh, dna 
these regions are commonly called as a heterochromatin regions but remaining portion uh, located at the differential regions of the x and y chromosome are called the euchromatin region because they are containing the active genes and involved in the determination of characters now we will see the genes located on the x chromosome this is x chromosome on this x chromosome dax one gene and sox nine gene and another genes are also involving in in the determination of uh, female sex or genital organs from the mullerian duct during the embryonic development at the stage of sixth week but whereas in the male at the time sixth week of the embryo the genes located on the p arm is sry gene sex determining region on y chromosome is responsible to form a special protein called the testis determining factor this protein can develop the male reproductive organs called the testis from the wolfian duct at that sixth week of the embryo so this is called the primary sex determination in the females if two x chromosomes are there on one x chromosome these genes are responsible to develop the primary sexual characters but whereas in the male organism one is a x chromosome this one and the one is the y chromosome but this dax1 and sox9 genes are located here but those are not expressing because this sry gene and tdf factors are expressing and suppressing the action of female sexual genes so that is the primary sex determination earlier we discussed about that this region is called the differential region this region is called the differential region at this differential region some of the genes located on x and y chromosomes are determining the body characters or vegetative characters now i am going to discuss about the special genes located on the differential region of the x chromosome and the differential region of the y chromosome and their inheritance on x chromosome at the differential region or euchromatic region the genes are located those genes are called the linked genes in these linked genes some are x linked recessive genes some are x linked dominant genes these regions are pseudo autosomal regions those genes which are located in these pseudo autosomal regions are called xy linked genes because these pseudo autosomal regions also located on the y chromosome containing the same type of genes that's why those genes which are located on the pseudo autosomal regions are called the xy linked genes and there one is y linked genes those genes which are located on the differential region of the y chromosome are called y linked genes in this x linked genes already we discussed about the genes those are dax1 and sox9 gene which can involve in the development of primary sex now in this x linked genes at the euchromatin region or the differential region of the x chromosome some are x linked recessive genes and some are x linked dominant genes what are the mutant x linked x linked recessive genes and what are uh, mutant x linked dominant genes what are the dcs caused by them these x linked recessive genes are actually mutant genes these mutant genes are causing some dangerous dreadful diseases or syndromes in the human for example those are duchenne muscular dystrophy hemophilia color blindness and some other diseases are also there which are caused by the x linked recessive genes and some genes which are present on the x chromosome are also 
called the X linked dominant genes. These X linked dominant genes located on the X chromosome also causing some diseases. These X linked dominant genes are very rare in the human population. These X linked recessive genes are uh, normally expressed in the male organism but not in the female organism because the female is containing the two X chromosomes. If one X chromosome is containing the recessive gene, if other X chromosome is containing the dominant gene, the dominant gene can suppress the action of a recessive gene. That's why normally females do not suffer with this X-linked recessive disease, diseases. Uh, but sometimes they, these diseases are also found in the females when two X chromosomes are containing the recessive genes. But that is rare condition. So, XY linked genes are called the pseudo autosomal regions. These pseudo autosomal re regions are containing the normal genes which can determine some of the body characters. But some of the genes at this place are also mutated and causing the diseases. Those are called the XY linked diseases. For example, zero derma pigmentosum. I will discuss about these each diseases and their inheritance pattern and pedigree analysis in other videos. Already the pedigree analysis video is uh, there in the description box. You can go and watch it. Next, Y-linked genes. The Y-linked genes, for example, already we discussed about the SRY gene which can determine the male sex. That is the normal one. But some of the genes located on the differential region of the Y chromosome containing the hypertrichosis gene. This hypertrichosis is nothing but uh, excessive hair development on the pinna of ear and pork pine skin. This pork pine skin is a, a skin disorder found in only few populations. Uh, this is uh, found only in the males because it is linked with the Y chromosome in the differential regions. Another one is webbed toy. Webbed toy means uh, web in between the fingers of the legs. These hypertrichosis, pork pine skin and the webbed toy are found only in the males due to the presence of those genes on the differential region of Y chromosome. Now I am going to discuss about the lethal genes. Normally these lethal genes are called fatal. Causes severe uh, disease symptoms even to death. That's why those are called as the lethal genes. Already we discussed about these X-linked recessive genes, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, hemophilia. Those are called the lethal diseases caused by the lethal mutant X-linked recessive genes. But in these X-linked recessive genes, color blindness is also there. But this is not lethal. These diseases which are uh, causing death are called the deleterious lethal genes. So means the females, the carrier females present in the population, human population are transmitting this disease to the males, but males are eliminating this disease from the nature by the natural selection. Sex influenced genes. These genes are located on the sex chromosomes, but those are expressed in particular sex. Sex influenced inheritance for example paternal bald head the genes responsible for the formation of bald head are located on the x chromosome so those genes are found in both male and female organisms but the sexual hormones are determining whether the individuals are getting or bald head or not. The testosterone hormone present in the males are responsible for the falling of hair on the head and causing the paternal bald head. This sex influenced character bald head is normally not found in the females. Of course, this sex influenced 
genes are located on the X chromosomes but they are expressing in particular sex because the hormones in a particular sex are determining the expression of those genes. Some of the genes located on the autosomes also can be inherited to the next generation but the characters are determined by the hormones released by the sexual organs or sexual genes located on the sex chromosomes. What are they? How is it? We will see. Sex limited inheritance. Sex limited inheritance. This sex limited inheritance is found in specific sex. But the genes located on the autosomes are expressed differently in females and males. For example, these autosomes are containing these genes. Those can be given to the male and female organisms. But those genes are expressed in particular sex, either male or female. Because special hormones present in the different sex are determining or causing the expression of those genes in the specific sex. For example, in the bulls, uh, female can give the milk but the <clears throat> autosomes are given to the next generation both male and females those genes are expressing in the females due to the presence of female sexual hormones those hormones are absent in the male organism that's why these genes are not expressed in the male humans the beard mustache male voice hair on body and some of the muscular structure also physic these are the special characters found only in the male organism but these those genes which can determine these characters are located on the autosomes that means female organisms are, female humans are also containing these genes but these genes are not expressing in the female organism because the male sexual hormone testosterone or androgens are responsible for the expression of these genes that's why the especially the males are exhibiting these uh, characters these are the sex limited inheritance